Dispatch. Six o'clock. Thank you for joining us here on WWLS, the sports animal. Gideon Hamilton, ready to take you until seven o'clock for Inside Sports. But first of all, I know many of you anticipating a very special announcement. Mark Rogers is here to help us with that this evening. Mark. Thank you, Gideon. Uh, let's welcome in Dayton Forsyth, uh, a member of the Dale Pirates, undefeated Class 2A state champions uh, this past year and playing some AAU ball for Team Griffin. We'll get into all that here in a couple of seconds, but uh, Dayton's going to announce uh, where he's going to play college basketball uh, coming up year after next, and so we'll turn it over to him. Dayton, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you, sir? Uh, doing awesome. Uh, we appreciate your time and, and uh, glad that you are here with us tonight to make this announcement. So uh, where are you going to play college basketball? Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm super excited to announce that I'm staying home and I'm going to be uh, sooner next year. So you're going to the University of Oklahoma. Um, tell us why you wanted to make the announcement now and when did you make up your mind that, that you were going to go to OU? Yeah, um, well, I decided yesterday, and I was telling everybody that was close to me, and I told Coach Moser, and, uh, well, it was really just, I mean, I, I've had my mind made up for a little bit, and I was going to go on some other visits, but, I mean, there, why, I don't know why I was going to wait. Uh, it was just, I was ready to do it. I was ready to have it done with, and my decision made, and I'm, I'm excited. We're all super excited. And you were picking up offers just as recently as last week. You had a Villanova offer, who's a team that's won multiple national championships in the past uh, few years. So uh, what about OU appealed to you the most? Yeah, it's uh, it's just always been something that I've dreamed about, uh, being an Oklahoma kid, uh, growing up, watching the games, going to games. And uh, it's something that I've wanted to do. I've wanted to put on the Crimson and Cream and represent my home state and once I started getting recruited by OU, it just made me fall even more in love whenever Coach Coach Moser and his staff started recruiting me, and I built some great relationships, and it, it just felt like home to me. Coach Moser's got a little bit of passion. We had him on the show earlier in the week. Uh, is it is that something that you kind of were drawn to? Yes, sir, absolutely. It's it's funny because before the games, when we go on, uh, when me and my family would go to games, me and my dad would sit there before the games when they were – announcing the starting lineups and we'd watch coach Moser p pace up and down the the baseline before the game even started you can just you can see it before the game even starts how passionate he is yeah I, the, the last time i think i saw, well i saw you at state championships uh but saw you at the cash and tournament and you and your dad were leaving overnight to drive to purdue uh to go on a visit there um it, it had to be incredible to see so many different campuses and so many different environments like that and, and a special time for you and your dad to kind of bond Yes, sir, for sure. I, I definitely enjoyed every second of it. And me, my mom, my dad, and my brothers, we all we traveled around. We were checking them all out. But none of them, none of them felt the same as, as whenever I went to, to Norman to visit OU. You, you played this summer, and, and you have played with Team Griffin in AAU ball. Tell us how the summer's gone. Yes, sir. It was, it was a great summer. I really, I really enjoyed playing for Team Griffin and uh, met a ton of great people, played with a ton of great people. And uh, there's nothing like the UIBL competition, so it it really it made me better, and, and I just enjoyed uh, getting to be with all my friends and my teammates. Well, your senior year should be pretty special after you guys finished undefeated and then won the tournament of champions. I know you're going back there, and Coach Edmondson has has tried to schedule uh, some games that are going to challenge you guys, especially going undefeated. So, what are you looking forward to uh, coming up about your final year in high school? I'm just yeah, I'm just I'm super excited to finish out on a high note, I hope. And uh I'm excited, yeah, like you said, Coach Hamilton scheduled some some good games. Like we're going to Illinois for a tournament and we're going back to the T O C. All that's just super exciting. I'm I'm gonna try to soak in every last second that I can while I'm there. Well, Dayton, congratulations. Uh, we wish you the best. We'll be following you this year as I know everybody will, and uh congratulations on your decision to go to OU. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. That is Dayton Forsyth at Dale High School committing to uh, OU tonight, considered to be, if not the best, one of the very best in the class of, of 2024. Uh, that's uh, big news, Mark. Go ahead and give us some context there because uh, there are a lot of folks that are excited in Norman right now. Yeah, I think so, and and I know that it was a, it was a tough decision for him between you know the in-state schools. Uh, Oklahoma State had recruited him, uh, but his really his uh, recruitment picked up a lot at the Tournament of Champions where uh, Dale – played bigger schools and were able to win 
Uh, he's six two, but he's incredibly athletic uh, and really a great passer of the basketball. So I think he can play multiple positions. Uh, but man, he's really talented. He's got a younger brother that's good, uh, and that Dale team was something special to watch yeah. last year. You, I heard you earlier today talking about the tournament of champions and. Uh, it had been a long time. It had been since the late 70s since a smaller school had won uh, that tournament, and they had to go through some of the very best teams in the state, including Edmund North, uh, to win that. No, very, very impressive. And, Mark, we appreciate you uh, sending that up for us here on the Sports Ants evening. Thanks so much. All right, we'll see you again. Thank you. All right, that's Mark Rogers and Dayton Forsythe. The announcement, he will be a member of the Oklahoma Sooners a year from next, the 2024 class, as that announcement has been made.